Hey guys, it's the Sneakiest Boy back from a couple days of no recording. <clears throat> um, so, this is, let's talk guys. Come sit in my house while I unpack my boxes for whoever I'm living with here because welcome back to unpacking. Um, we're going to be unpacking some boxes again and we are going to have a good time. I got to remember exactly where I was. Um, so I'm going to give kind of a, an update while we, while we unpack these, these boxes. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? Bamboo? It's kind of cool. Can't put it on the fridge. Um, there. It's cute there. Um, so this is what happened, guys. So to start, I guess, there's no better place to start than what actually happened. So first things first. My daughter is home. Finally. So that's awesome and I'm really excited for that. And it's it's really cool having her home because I was not doing good without her home. I'm sure you all understand that. Uh, we all have those days where we just, you know, mentally, we just, you know, don't want to do anything. I didn't go to work. I didn't do much of anything besides be with my wife because it was almost one of the worst times of my life waiting on her because... I mean, eventually, you just don't think she's going to be able to come home, you know what I mean? Um, all those NICU parents out there know exactly what I'm talking about. But, as I put away my underwear, um, but it's, it was rough. It was really rough, and I, I'm really, 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 really happy that she's back, because I honestly don't know what I was going to do if she wasn't going to come home soon, because I, I don't know, I don't know, it was, it was rough, so she's home now, and uh, I just took the past couple days to, to be with her and to enjoy our time together, but that doesn't mean I'm done, that doesn't mean I'm done, so that's, we're still going to be continuing here, um, as much as we can anyway, um, so that leads to my other thing. And that is, um, videos. Videos, not that, you know, I have an absorbent amount, ab absorbent, absor a, a huge amount of viewers. It's not like I don't, it's not like I have, um, like, an insane amount of viewers. But, you know, I still, those couple people who tune in every single time to whatever videos I decide to make, uh, this is for you guys, this is for you, I hope you're doing great, um, but, yeah, so, videos for the couple people, sorry, I'm, it's, it's hard to focus on this and that, because I'm really trying to make sure this is a nice room, because I don't know why, but I'm so into this, is this our little journal from the intro and stuff? It might just be. We're going to put that right in the math book. Um, so, yeah, videos are going to die down. I was planning on doing every single day while she was gone to try to really hammer these out. Um, but now, uh, I... There's a wait room, right? Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to be doing two, two a week. So... I'm probably going to do half an hour of this, and then half an hour of Amnesia later, and maybe finish it, which would be cool. I would love to finish Amnesia, because um, then I'm going to start Lies of P, and I'm really excited for that. I'm going to suck, and you guys are going to probably love it not. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Um, she's home. Videos are going to be dying down a little bit. Not, you know, not a lot. Um but as much as they can, because obviously I need to spend time and be there with her and, and my wife, as a matter of fact. Let's get these out of here. I don't know what I'm doing with these. 
Um, because they both... That's fine. Th those can be there. Um, I might rearrange before I finish. Uh, obviously, they need me here. Um, but I've also been working, you know, because... I <laughs> I don't have an excuse not to work anymore. Um, because it's just... It's just not like that anymore. Um, but I do have a few work updates, too, which I know everybody loves hearing about work when they're not at work themselves because they're watching a video. I, I would love to hear about somebody's job while I'm not thinking about my own. So I'm going to bore you guys with that. Um, so... Oh. And take his pants. Just throw them on the floor. Um, you know what? I, I'm can. I, I'm can. I'm can. I'm gonna put my skirt near his ties. Um. Oop, another one. Uh. Oh God. This is a mess. Guys, this is a mess. Um. Let's. Put, come on now. What? What's, what's going on? Come on. Put that on there. And then put these here. Um, so, fine, I will put my shirts with his. I don't want to put the skirt with the pants! I was wondering where the music went. <laughs> Just letting me rage in silence. Um, so, that's kind of the overall plan right now. Uh, I don't... That's not what I was saying. Sorry, guys. I'm completely all over the place because I haven't done this in, like, a while. So I'm basically back to when I was brand new at this. Um, so, anyway. Uh, what I was saying was um, work. Uh, so we... I just got moved cruise. I don't know if I updated you guys on that front specifically. But yeah, I just got moved cruise, so now I hate what I'm doing even more, and I'm like continuously looking for a different job with no luck at all, because I want to do something a lot cooler than what I am now. Right now, I'm a, what do you call me? I'm, I'm an electronic assembler. Okay, guys, you see how cool that is to say? I'm an electronic assembler. whoop de doo am I right? Like, no offense to the people out there who actually do that and love it, because it could be good, cool. I can understand how it could be a really cool job, but it's not, it's not for me, because, um, I mean, it's just not. Uh, I don't like sitting there, I feel like I'm not doing what I should be doing. I feel like I should be doing a lot more than this, you know? Um, says every person ever. But I really... Where am I gonna put this guy? I really feel like I should be doing something else. Because it's... It's just not who I want to be, you know? Man, this is a mess. Um, the, and, you know, I'm not really... I want to do this. I really do. Um... But we'll see if this turns out, you know, because I can't obviously rely on this to work out perfectly and I can't do it as a normal average job right now because I, ha I have to support my family. And even if this doesn't work out and I keep doing it, I have to, you know, realize that, hey, I'm going to have to suck it up and go to work and do this stupid job that I don't want to do because my family. And, you know, all you guys, you know, you... Where am I supposed to put this? What is this? Is this my diploma? I guess I can just put it in there for now. Um, all you guys, obviously, you guys are going to work too. You're working your 9 to 5s, your whatever shifts. I'm working 4 to 8s. Um, four eights. No, four nines, one four. So, you know, I work ten hours every day, except for Friday I work, uh... Did I just say, I'm an idiot. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm a complete fool. 
Um, I work. I had to stroke out, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I work nine, five, nine, four nines. I'm such an idiot. Um, yeah. So, and then one four on Friday. Um, so that's my shit. But it's it's getting rough out there, you know. Because obviously now I would just want to be home with the baby, but I used all my vacation time because I'm an absolute fool who uh, wasted it. It's not even that I wasted it, it's, um, I w I'm going to be honest, I was depressed. I really was because, like I was telling you about the baby and everything, I was genuinely, like, sad. Um, and I don't, I didn't want to go to work because it was, I don't like the job, so why would I go to work if I don't love the job, you know what I mean? Um, but I had to, but I, I chose not to. Um, but I didn't like it, number one. Number two, I missed my baby and I wanted to be with her and then, you know, I missed my wife and she didn't want to be alone. Um, obviously all you parents out there, you know what I'm talking about. You you wouldn't want to be alone when you're, if your baby was in the NICU. You guys get it. Um, but what I really needed was um, a safe place. You know, obviously home was safe. That's why I stayed home. But that's, in the end, why I'm doing this is for... Um, it's for you guys, because... Is there a little crack in my mug? That's sad. Um, and it's for you guys, because obviously I'm not the only one who has problems, and the only one who goes through this stuff, so... I want to help people who go through this just like I do. And just goes through life, because... I, like I always say here, life hits you hard sometimes, and it gets really rough out there. Um, but I'm going to be here for you guys. I really want to, because that's what I needed recently. It's what a lot of people need in, in general, because some people just don't get it. You know, some people don't have people to talk to. You guys might have parents you can't talk to. You might feel like you have a girlfriend or a wife you can't talk to, um, or, you know, siblings. So, I fully understand. I can talk to my wife, and, you know, I don't have a problem with that, and stuff like that, but it's... It's... It, I don't know how to describe it. It's not the same, you know what I mean? Like, I need... It's because we were both going through it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. We are both going through the same thing, so it's kind of really hard to, you know, do all that and to be like, oh, you know, I'm here for you when, you know, I'm also mentally struggling, you know, it's, it's rough, it's rough to do. So I didn't expect her to do that for me. Um, is this shampoo and conditioner? Um, I didn't expect her to do that for me, uh, and I'm sure she didn't expect me to do that for her. But, um, even if she did, I would do everything I can, because obviously I'm going to want to do that. She did everything she could, but, you know, you could only do so much. Um, but like, like I was saying, it's, it's, this, this is for you guys. This video is for you guys to tell you, hey, you know, you're not alone. I'm not going to let you guys go through it. I wanted to try to electrocute myself. Um, as I said, I'm doing better. Um, but I don't want you guys to go through it and, you know, have negative thoughts, bad, you know, mental state, because obvious, it's, who wants to do that, you know? Who wants to go through something like that and to be alone? Nobody. Nobody wants to, and I really would love to help you guys because somebody needs to 
somebody needs, everybody needs somebody, you know, that's just how it is, Every, everybody needs somebody, so, I'm gonna do my absolute best to try to, uh, try to help you guys out here, um, because it's, it's tough out there sometimes, um, so yeah, that's, that's basically where I'm at, where the channel's gonna be at, uh, because I've gotta, I've gotta be around, you know, I can't, I love doing this, and if I could do this permanently for, like, a job, that would be so cool and so awesome and nice, but at the same time, it's not practical until it actually starts making money, because right now it's just a hobby, and it's a, my favorite hobby, and I absolutely love doing this, because... And I don't get why, I just like talking to myself, apparently. I like talking to myself and being absolutely nutso insane in a room, talking to some people who might not even care that I'm talking to them. But I'm still going to try to reach out to you guys and try to tell you, hey, you know, I'm here. So, I hope you guys can, you know, see that and... Uh, and, you know, enjoy your time here as well as I do, because I really do. I, this is a lot of fun, and it's also something, you know, my, uh, my daughter can grow up one day, and, you know, I'm leaving a legacy behind at the same time, which is a weird feeling, and it's really cool, because, you know, I didn't think I would. I honestly thought that I would just be working this stupid production job my whole life and have nothing to show for it. And I might, but at least now I've got something, you know? She can grow up and say, hey, look, Dad tried to make something. Dad tried to help people who needed help and try to be there for people. They might not have, you know, loved him every second. They might not have watched him every single time he posted a video, but he didn't care. He, he was there for him, and I, I want her to see that. And hopefully, hopefully she will. Is that me in that picture? Is that me and another guy? It's cute. Uh, man, I've got a lot of stuff and no room, so we're gonna take this in the living room. Um. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the whole thing, you know, um, so hopefully things keep going the way they are, because they're going pretty good now, and I'm really at a nice place, because she's home, finally, and it took forever, it took 47 days, and now she's going to be two months on the 16th, and it's absolutely nuts, you know? I would have never imagined her being this old already, and I'm sure I already know what you guys are saying. Uh, uh, it's only gonna get you know, it's only gonna get worse and stuff. But I, I get that, I get it. But at the same time, it's it's just crazy. Well, I've been saying nuts a lot. I'm really, I don't know why, and I'm really trying not to, but it, I've been doing it, and I don't understand why. Um, what is this thing? Uh, but yeah, so, right now I'm at a good spot, and I hope it stays that way, but obviously it might not, because life likes to hit you when you least expect it to, so, um, as everybody here knows that that happens too many times. Ugh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. And I hope, I also, I wanted to thank you guys because it's already doing way more than I thought it would be doing. I have a total, it's, this is gonna sound pitiful, compared to, like, the huge guys. But it's so insane to me that I'm even remotely, you know, here. I'm, I've, people have seen me. People are like, oh, hey, this guy's okay. You know? It's crazy. It's insane. 
It really is. But 36 total views. I know, not not a lot, but I can't tell you guys how thankful I am for that because that is amazing and insane that like 36 people I mean it could be the same guy over and over and over and over could just be my wife I know she watches sometimes but it's it means a lot to me that people are you know checking me out because it's entirely a passion project it really is and somehow if I can go into this and change somebody's life for the better hopefully for the better um, that would be the best thing that I could do in my life and I would so love to do that so hopefully I can and hopefully yeah, I'm not actively making your day worse by showing up and talking right out of my ass as I play a stupid game about unpacking boxes. Um, yeah, so, God, I have no room for any of this. Uh, God. Why can't I put stuff up there? What is this? Oh uh, God! All right, I'm getting anxious. This is this is crazy. There's so much shit. Uh, okay. Let's. All right. Stop blinking red. Uh, okay. Um, figure this out. Hold on. I. God, why? Why? There's literally nothing. There's no room for any of this. I hate this person. Uh, can I put this in here? No. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's see. Is this, like, spices? Here's a water bottle. I can put the water bottle with it. Is that coffee? I can put the sugar with the coffee. Where's the sugar? Here's the sugar. Put that up there. Um, cookie jar... Uh, strainer. Can I put the strainer in the sink? No. Um. God. Can I put some dishes in the sink? Actively wash them? Nope. Wait, I could put something in the sink. Will the strainer not fit? I guess the strainer won't fit. Alright. Um. Let's see. So yeah, that's basically it is what I wanted to say. I wanted to, number one, thank you guys, and I wanted to, number two, let you guys know that I appreciate every little thing. Every single view, I appreciate a lot. And, you know, I'm also kind of worried because, you know, I watch YouTubers, and recently I've been hearing, you know, the second I start YouTube, I hear crap about, you know, oh, you know, it's not the same, people need this, and you need this to get views, and like this, this, and this, and it made me nervous, because I really, I was like, man, am I not, am I not going to be able to do this normally, because I really want to, um, but then I, you know, I thought about it, and I don't care, you know, I don't care about the, obviously I have to care a little bit about the analytics and stuff. But, um, for right now, I'm just doing this to do it, and it feels really good. It really does. Um, hold on. Let's figure this out here. Uh, God, I hate this. I hate this. It's causing me extreme anxiety. Um... I guess that works. Getting a whole phone call right now. Oh, alright. It's my dad. Um, lovely man. Uh, so, yeah. I, it's just been worrying, you know? And it's especially because I have a baby. Um, so, let's I turn the oven on. Let's, now, now let's focus 100% on this. You guys heard my talk. 
you you you've listened hopefully and hopefully whatever i've said made you be like oh you know this guy's all right you know hopefully if not you know just slander me and you know say you hate me and you know it's all right i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it it it, it bad publicity is uh what what is what's the term no publicity is what is it what is it uh bad publicity is still publicity or something like that i'm kidding it it took me too long to say that joke so now it didn't seem like a joke so now i look like an ass um but i i hope that i'm not guys i promise you oh there we go i didn't think that was a little spot um can i maneuver here can this fit in here more tea where the tea goes uh, what is this, protein powder? Okay. Um, I need a place for this strainer. Where would I put my... I would put my strainer in a cabinet underneath, but... Homie doesn't have any space. I'm gonna put the protein powder up with the coffee. He can suck it up. And then I'm gonna put the strainer down here. Or I'm not! What can I put in there? Can I put this in here? I can't, oh my god, I can't even do that. What am I supposed to put down there then? Um, what is this? Okay, uh, fine. Then. What is this then? Why do we need this? I don't think we need that. You know what, I'm gonna put the bowls down here. And then I'm going to put the strainer up here, along with this stuff. And then, oh, I can't do that, okay. And then after that, I'm going to put the, no, all right, never mind, never mind. I'll just keep my mouth shut. I guess that's good. I don't know, I don't like how the bowls are separate from the plates, but I don't know what else I can do about that. But you know what I can do? Put some protein powder back down there. Can I fit this stuff down here? No. Okay. Alright, uh, his protein powder is back where it was, so he won't absolutely devastatingly abuse the shit out of me when he gets home from work. Seeing that his protein powder, he'll be like, You touch my protein powder, you bitch! Gah, gah! And I'll be like, No, stop! And then I'm going to call cops on his ass and then beat the shit out of him as the cops you know, do the finger wag of shame and don't be like, don't do that. You know. The the average protein powder experience. No offense to anybody who uses protein powder. I used to. That doesn't guys listen. That doesn't mean anything, okay? Never mind. My joke was stupid, okay? Never mind. Fine. This room's fine the way it is. What's wrong in here? Nothing. Cool. Yeah, alright. What is this? What is this stuff? Is this a laptop? Why can't I put this on the thing here? Like, move the coasters and then put it on top? Because the game controller's in the way? What if I move these? Like, that. Still not gonna fit, huh? Okay. Will this fit? This little art thing? Still not good. I guess this needs to go in the bedroom. Fine, I'll just shove it underneath. That's still not good. What about... What about... What about a little bit of this action? What's wrong with the bus being here? Uh... Okay, then where am I supposed to put this crap? Do I just have to shove it all underneath the bed? Because that's not going to work. Um, this stuff can't go in here? Oh, it can. Okay. This can't go under here. Alright, then fine. Where do you want it then, sir? Uh, oof. God, this is a rough one. I guess I can put something under the pillows, but I don't really know where I'd do that. Okay, 
I guess these can go in the living room. Put this with the other books. That can just be a stack of crap, I guess. Uh, but these obviously need to go in here somewhere. But where is the question that I want answered for me in this particular moment? Um, God. Uh, hmm. Can I, like, stand his Xbox up? No? Fine. Can't put that on there. Ugh, alright. Um, can't stand up the guitar or anything. Let's see. Can I stand these up? No. Is this a DVD? What is this? Oh, it's a book. I can go up here. What is this? Oh, another book. Okay, well. Is this his book? Let's do that. And then do that. And then this can go... Not that. Or that, I guess. Never mind! Um... Well, I guess I can move all the books up here, right? You know what? That looks bad. Uh, I'm gonna do this. No, that looks horrible. I'm gonna put this book on top. There we go. There. That's a little bit better. And now does it have room? For activities? Still no? Sick. I'm gonna move the Zed Garden down here. Never mind. That's where I'd put it. Game. That's where I would put it. God. I don't think it cares. Is this a workout video? I'll put that up there. Man, this is such a big laptop. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, God. Okay, I, maybe I can put something here-ish. Um, hmm. Let's see. This one's hard. I guess what we can do is... Can we seriously not? Alright, what, what if we do a little bit of this action? Uh... Is that a DVD? I don't know why that's there. It's also a DVD. Okay, uh... He had a D, his DVDs in a stupid spot. I still can't? What are you talking about? I don't know where to put any of that, then. Can I... What if I move this stuff here? And we're not going to be ready to play games, but, you know, I guess we can move stuff around. I need him home. I'm bad at this. He needs to decide some things. I'm tired of being the one deciding everything. This is stupid. Even though it's literally the whole game. There. Better. Good. That's better for me. Put the TV remote back. Um. Maybe I can have everything here. Why wasn't it working before? Now, will this go next to it? Kinda. That's gonna bother somebody. That'll work. And then this guy. This guy is going nowhere good, apparently. What is this? It looks like something I could hang, but I'm not able to do that for some reason. Uh, can I put it on his side? No. Okay. Uh, what about this? No. Why do I have a beetle? Get your beetle out of here. This isn't even mine, probably. No? Alright. I guess the beetle can stay! Fine! We're gonna figure this room out, and then we're probably gonna call it and hop on some in. What? Oh! I see what it is. I can put stuff up there? Oh, there we go. That's better. I tried that! It didn't work! No, oh, whatever. Good enough! Oh, I got a little sticker. A guitar is hanging right. Not all copies instant.
Who knew? Really? Uh, I guess you can do the beans and do the extensive process. I'm more of a tea guy. I don't like coffee unless it's really... I'm really tired. Um, is this our childhood bedroom? Looks like we broke up with the guy and ended up back with our parents. Hey, it happens. It happens. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm sorry it was such a talky, talky video about feelings and stuff like that. But I really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, all that jazz and junk. Um, today's advice is to talk to somebody if you're not if you're feeling down, because you know I I didn't do that when I like I was saying I didn't do that. I talked to my wife, but like I was saying, it's kind of hard when you're going through the same thing. But talk to somebody. You know, therapy's great. It really helps. Uh, friends, family. You know, or if you can't find anybody to talk to, you try try to find a hobby. Try to find videos, movies, uh, shows that you really like, and connect with those characters and their people. And sometimes it'll it'll feel like you're talking to them, and it'll be nice. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Sneak Boy, out. Thank you.